Today, our champion, Al Johnson of Southwick, faces the challenge of John Zernicke of Webster on Candleton Bowling. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Candleton Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, always speaking for the whole crew. When I say we're sure glad you chose to join us here at the Fairway in Natick, Massachusetts, it's going to be three strings of Candleton Bowling, and total pinfall will determine our winner. Now, each of our bowlers takes home a permanent, permanent souvenir, a uh, permanent, permanent, yes, a uh, souvenir from Din Brothers of Boston and Holyoke, which will be properly inscribed with his name, the date, and the result. Nice souvenir. And uh, more important, I suppose, for them, we have guaranteed prize money. 700 goes to the winner, 350 to the runner-up, $50 available to the winner of each string. Should they tie a string, each would receive $50. And then there is a $50 gift certificate from Rotman's Furniture, and that will go to our marksman of the day, the bowler with the most mark. Okay, let's talk to today's bowler, shall we? John Zernicke is right, back yeah. again, and uh, back in the same year, too, huh? A little quicker than the last few times. <laughs> well, what you've got to do, though, you've got to change the results, though. Well, it's been tough. Boy, I'm tired. Boy, it, it, you know, looking at this, it's just amazing. Some of the guys, you, you met this guy before, once and he before. put you down, right? Yeah, Oh, um, man. Uh, yeah, last I'm just looking at all it. Dick O'Connell, some of the... Uh, very frustrating, no, right? it, it doesn't get any easier, either. <laughs> no, look at what you have for you oh, today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's hot. But you're here, and that's right. the most important right. thing. And you, you son of a gun, now you're up to on top of the list, huh, with a 467. Yeah, I feel real good. Uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> you don't feel, feel <laughs> don't that there's going to be, go, be somebody who's going to knock you off. Uh, 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 it's probably going to be the guys who always knock everybody else off, Tommy and Paul Berger. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully they bowl lousy this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, after three strings last week and leaving only two pins in the whole thing standing, I'll tell you, it was great. And, John, you're going to have to have one of your best. Yep. We'll get underway right after this. Leading off today's challenger, John Zernicke. High single, 211. High triple, 473. Average, 120. Missed the head pin, went off to the right a little bit, and has left the one, two, four, the six and ten, and one piece of wood in between the standing pins, that is the three and the two. I didn't mean three and two pins, the three pins standing to the left and the two pins standing to the right. Two and four, he has a ten. This is the ninth appearance on our program for John, and as we alluded to at the beginning, it's been rather frustrating for him, especially for a bowler as good as he. Now he has a spare leave on the right, six and ten. Yes. Our defending champion, Al Johnson. High single, 197. High triple, 476. League average, 130. 708 to win his roll-off. Spare leave, two and four. as soon as he released the ball, knowing it was going to go far to the left. It's an eight box. Last week in rolling his 467, he left only two pins standing, a couple of nine boxes. All the rest were tens or marks. And he comes back with a strike. John Zernicke. And here helping him today was his daughter, Tara, carrying his bag. And John comes back with a strike.
first ball nets him six. Now looking at the one, two, seven, and eight with wood in between. Three pieces of wood. Yes. Fifty dollars in bonus money so far for John Zernike with a ten box and three, three consecutive marks. Al Johnson working on a strike. Two full on the head pin. Ten pin just fell. Two, three, and six. Went to the left of the two pin. So the total fill on the strike is eight. And the box is 10. and seven three pieces of wood one back of the five the other two are in front he said no as he released it and he got just the seven five pins still there it's still there a nine after four boxes in the first string and in the uh, middle string, we take a check on the scoreboard. With the bonus ball still to be rolled by John Zernike, the score right now is Zernike 60 and Johnson 45. Our challenger, John Zernike, trying to make it four in a row. He's working on a spare. Eight is the fill, and uh, the two pins standing have a piece of wood in between. It is the six and ten, so a good chance to get another. And he did. One hundred dollars so far. Missed the head pin. Six, leaving the one, two, seven, and the uh, five pin. Oh, so close. Just missed that five pin. A 10. Now Al Johnson. Al is married and father of one son. Three, six, ten on the right with wood between the three and the six, the seven pin alone. There's another piece of wood that is angled in a position to go over and get the seven if he hits it the right way. Oh, did not get the three pin. That piece of wood I referred to went over and got the seven. And the three pin is still there. Now to lane three here at the fairway. One, two, plus the corners full, seven and ten. Piece of wood in front of the seven. Nice try, got everything except the ten.
Nine. Now our challenger, John Zernike. Four horsemen left side plus the five and eight. One piece of wood is off to the right. Still has four pins up. Two, four, five, and seven. Nice shot with that last ball, making it a 10. Nine pin drop, seven pin to pick up. Gilio, as usual, on the electronic scoreboard. Keith Williams on the big board for the folks who are here. Al Johnson, our defending champion. A triangle. Four, seven, eight. Piece of wood off to the right. Will he use it? He made it clean. Don Riley, who's usually our statistician and coordinator, is still our coordinator, but he's filling in for Ralph Stewart as our lob line judge and referee today. And working as statistician is Tim Michelle's brother, Phil Michelle. So close to strike on top of spare. Al Johnson now has some double wood well, actually, it's two pieces, but they're not side by side. In the gutter to the right, so he is going after the 10 pin, and let's see whether he can do it. He did it clean. Now John Zernike. John working on a spare. Already at 114. Wood in front of the only pin standing, the seven. He's got it. Phil Rubin is our producer and director and our crew today. Skip Peabody, Jeff Sullivan, Margie McKenna, and Bob Marsosi. John trying for three marks in a row again. Six is the fill. He has the four horsemen with no wood to help. It's a left sider. One, two, four, and seven. Too bad. Missed the head pin. One forty-nine opening string. Very nice. And congratulations from Al Johnson. Johnson now looking for some bonus money with two consecutive marks. He's got with a strike. So there's $50 in bonus money for Al. He got $600 in bonus money last week when he rolled a 467. If you saw it, you know it was sensational. As soon as he released that one, he knew it just slipped right off. OK.
Just three on the first ball. Now let's see what he gets. Almost everything down except the king, the five. So nine is the fill on that strike. And it is a 10. So $50 in bonus money also to John Zernike as he has won the first string, 149 to 131. Middle string means our defending champion leads it off. Here is Al Johnson of Southwick. Looking at one and seven. One piece of wood, but it's over close to where the 10 would be. He hit the number one pin and flew it over the seven. 10. Now to lane three here at the fairway in Natick. Four pins standing. Three, five, and excuse me, three, five, six, and ten, yes. That makes four, doesn't it? Yeah. Six pin did not go down. To 10. All right, let's see whether John Zernike continues what he did in the first, where he rolled a 149. Great start. Great start. And you who are unable to see could tell from the reaction of the crowd that everything went down. Yes, it's a strike to begin the middle string. First ball, nets him five. Looking now at the two, four, five, seven, eight. Nope, didn't get the spare. Seven and eight still standing. Bumps it off the football line, it's a nine. Now Al Johnson. Pin standing. Four and seven plus the six. Oh, great try. He used some wood that was just to the left of the six pin. He was able to bounce it off the sidewall and get one of the two pins on the left. Another ten. Three consecutive tens so far in this middle string for Al. The nine pin to pick up. No. Three, three pin. Three pin it was. Four consecutive ten. He has left three, but they are separated. The ten alone over on the left, the four and seven. A 
love losing those two pins. So it is an eight. Two full on the head pin. Two and four on the left. Three, six, ten on the right. The only piece of wood is to the left of the four pin. Not full enough on the three pin. So a pair of eights. Once again, a check on the scoreboard, as we always do after four boxes in the first and in the uh, second string. And John Zernike leads right now after four in the middle, 43-40. consecutive tens so far for Al Johnson in the middle string. Well, that's a 10 with one ball. That makes it a strike. standing. Two pieces of wood now on a good angle to the right of the two pin. And yes, he used it for a spare. Now John Zernike, who coming into these two boxes by Al, was leading by 21. Four, seven, the only wood is off to the right where the 10 would be. Oh, too bad. Got the two and four, but that seven didn't go. A 10. One, the two, the nine, and the ten, and wood two pieces in back of the two pin. Oh, everything down except the nine. He had two pieces of wood in front of that nine parallel to the deck, and it would look as if all he had to do was just hit the middle and take it, but if you don't hit it exactly where it's supposed to, it'll do what it just did, and spin out of there, and the nine is still there. Okay, now, Al, trying to make it three in a row. Seven is the fill on the spare, the three pin standing, the three, the six, and the 10. One piece of wood alongside the three, perpendicular to the pit. Got it! Three consecutive marks, that's $50 in bonus money. Seven is the fill, and the three pins standing are the three, the six, and the seven. Wood right alongside the three and the six to the left side of it. Another piece of wood between those two and the seven. And yeah. 
having a little conversation with himself right now. I'm not sure whether he wanted us to hear. Okay, the seven pin. Now a couple of pieces of wood that had to settle down and he goes after it and he's all over it. The last two boxes were a 10 and a nine by John Zernicke. Two pieces of wood in front of the six and 10 and over on the left triangle made up of the four, seven and eight. Spare and a seven. Big nine. The only pin standing is the seven. A couple of pieces of wood rolling around, but it appears he, they've stopped now and he can get a clean shot at the seven. And he did. Another spare. Final two now for Al Johnson at 104 through eight. Two, four, seven, and eight. Then a couple of pieces of wood perpendicular to the pit to the right of the eight pin and over on the right alone the 10 pin. Nice shot. Spare in the night. Bonus. Two full, three pins over on the right. The three, the six, and the nine over on the left. The four and seven. One piece of wood in back of the six pin, one in front of the four and seven. A little too far to the right. He was trying to utilize the three pin to go over and get it. So it's an eight box. And a 127 string. John Zernicke with two marks in a row and two boxes to go. Big nine is the fill. The only pin up is the kingpin, the five. He's got it. Boy, does that pin look skinny in a situation like that. 110. Kind of a thin hit. He has a split now with a 10 alone over on the right. The four, seven, and eight, two pieces of wood. He's looking at it very carefully, as you can see. Now making his decision. Here he goes. Too bad. Didn't get it. Actually, after he delivered it, a piece of the wood began to move. And of course, there, there was not anything he could do about it. And it is a seven box for the, the last box. And the $50 for winning a string goes to our defending champion, Al Johnson, 127-123. However, Zernike is still leading by 14 pins after two, 272, 258. John Zernike leading off the third string. With a strike. Slow motion.
they kept toppling and eventually the seven pin went down and I just heard somebody in the background say, okay, get a real one now. <laughs> he didn't, but he got six pins down and he's looking now at the two, four, five, and seven. No wood to help. <laughs> Made the spare. Now Al Johnson, our defending champion. He comes up with a strike to begin the third string. quite. Everything down except the seven pin. Phil is giving you a good look at the pin that he needs for a spare and the wood which is rolling around. See that piece in the back is rolling a little bit. Now it stopped. That's it for a spare. So each of them has begun the third string strike spare. Now John Zernike. And he comes back with a strike for $50 in bonus money. is the uh, drop with the first ball and he's now looking at the five and nine with wood that just came in a favorable spot in front of the five yes he's got it four marks in a row to begin the third string now Al Johnson let's see if he can match it Two full coming in and he got five. He has left the two, four, seven, and the three, six. Boy, almost pulled it off, great shot. Only pin standing is the three. So it's a 10. And 15 pins more to the lead of John Zernike. Two full again on the head pin. Three, six, ten standing over here on the left. Four pin, excuse me, on the right, four pin on the left. Didn't get the three. Gets the four pieces of wood, sidewall, came back, but it came behind the three. It's a nine box. All right, John Zernike with four consecutive marks. That was on a spare. Just four and the pin standing are the one, the two, the four, the eight, and over on the right, the six and 10. He fires two full on the head pin. So the marks stop at least temporarily. A seven box. Three and the ten. All the wood is over to the left. Two. 
Ooh, you could see that one coming. Missed them all. Missed the two. I, that, that's not quite all, is it? A ten. In completed frames, Al Johnson down by 34 pins. But he has a strike. And that strike is opposite a seven box. Here's the first bonus. Nine pin drop. Four pin, piece of wood that's rolling back and forth. It's diagonally in front of it and moving back and forth. Didn't get it. He tried to use, uh, the reason I described it for you as diagonal because it appeared as if it was going to be difficult and it was simply because he, took the, he hit the left side with the intention of having it spin into it. Instead, it's, it's spun around it. So that's a big miss of a single. Ten box. All right. After a seven and a ten, John Zernike comes up again and so close to a strike. Everything down except the five pin. I'm sure that, well, I'm not gonna say a word. He did go right after it. So a spare in the seventh. Too bad, too full. Just three. Leaving two, four, seven, and eight on the left. Three, six, ten on the right. Ooh, that one just slipped away and he got only the ten pin. Six pins still standing. He'll go for that group of four on the left and got them. So it turns out to be an eight box. Big opportunity missed as he comes down to the final two boxes. Al Johnson. Amazing. We thought sure it was going to be a nine pin drop, but the nine pin did not go down. So he has the seven and the nine rocking back and forth with a piece of wood in front of it. Now a piece of wood going over to the seven. Made it as he used the wood. I was going to speculate that he would use the wood, but then I said, hush up, Don. You don't know as much as Al does. Big nine, Phil. Four pin to pick up. Yes, she has another spare. Opposite an eight box. 16 pin lead down to the final two. John Zernike with that lead. He's got a split. Seven pin alone. Six, nine, and 10 on the right. Wood between the six and the 10. Another piece of wood rolling around. This, oh, 
This is a little tense right now. John got the right side, but didn't get the wood to go over to get the seven. So every pin is important, and he's waiting to go after that seven pin. And yes, he has it. It's a 10. It's a seven pin drop, and he's looking now at the four, seven, and eight with wood in front of it, and what should be a good shot at a spare. Oh, no, he didn't make it. One pin standing. Didn't get it. A nine and a 131. Al Johnson working on a work on a spare. Working on a spare, got seven, the two and four and the six. He needs a 146 to win. He's now at 119 plus seven. And did not make it uh, as far as a mark is concerned. He'll get 10. That'll put him at 129. Make it 128. 126, excuse me. He's got to mark. Okay, there is the strike. That's what he needed. Could be a tie. Okay, nine to tie, ten to win. Nine to tie, ten to win. Ooh, 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 boy. He went down the middle. He now has the two, the four, and the uh, seven, plus the three and the six. Remember, nine, two, tie. Goes for the left side. He's got the left side. And we have a new champion by one pin. How about that? $50 in bonus money goes to Al Johnson, and uh, John Zernicke doesn't care about that, nor does Al. Each gets $100 for going over 400. One pin win, 403 to 402. How about that? Two bowlers went over 400. However, it just totals 805, which means that they just barely went over. But it also probably means that we uh, will not have a winner. Maybe 10 either side of uh, the 805 would win $300. But anyway, just for having the card drawn, that person will receive a $50 gift certificate from Christmas tree shops. Let's find out. struggle there were three of them that wanted to come out there so I I hope for whoever it is sake that it was a right let's see now this one comes from Dover New Hampshire 
Mary Booth is what it appears to be, and the guess is 750, so that means that it'll be 350 next week. The Hilo jackpot, let's see how much we have there. $225, would you take that, John? <laughs> right on the head pin, huh? <laughs> I don't know if you heard, that was Al hollering lob. Boy, you scared it, didn't you, huh? No. All right. All right, come on over here. And uh, Din Brothers wanted to give you a souvenir, but you said, well, hold it for a few weeks. I'm sure that's what your idea was. And John beat me the last time on the show. I threw, he threw a lob, and I ended up winning. This time we reversed it. Well, it, listen, it's great then any time when we get two bowlers who go over 400. Let me see how much, you got $350, and uh, you did pretty well in the bonus, didn't you, huh? You got 300 bucks in bonus on top, 650, not bad, huh? I'm like real happy. And a 467, <laughs> which brings you back